Well, we're joined now by the former French foreign minister and humanitarian activist Bernard Kouchner. Monsieur Kouchner, um, the president has said we are at war. What does that mean? It means that yesterday it was a war situation in the Paris street and uh, all the scene, remember, the way they killed more than 129 women people. It was a war method. But it doesn't mean that we are at war with a country or with a group or with a political group. We are at war with barbarian people and terrorism. That's all. So we have to react. Well, it's not quite all in the sense that both America and France today have said yes. they're going to increase their effort against ISIS in Syria and Iraq. And you, the British people, and everybody for whom the bell tolls, they are tolling for everybody, the democratic society. They wanted to kill yesterday our way of living, eating, praying, uh, being free in the town. Music. Music, everything. Music, yeah, of course, yeah. modern music. So we cannot accept that. It, they are not at war with France. They are not at war with uh, U United States of America or Russia. They are at war with who we are, you mean? Yes, who we are, who we are behaving, and who will continue and stand up to behave the and way we are. How coherent, how how direct do you believe the lines are between ISIS in the deserts of Iraq and Syria and these, some of them French? Yeah, young some of them people. French, some are British, some are American. Indeed, indeed. Uh, more than 3,000 uh, of people, volunteers, are coming from a lot of countries. But this is not the problem. The problem is how to react. Hmm. Is it possible to get rid of Mr. Bashar? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Of course, he's partly and mainly responsible of the situation. Is it possible to get an agreement in between Russia and United States of America? I believe so. But is he mainly responsible for this situation? Surely there are other forces that are also very responsible. Do you have to look, for example, at the Wahhabis, the extreme religious forces, particularly those in Saudi Arabia? You're absolutely right. And we have to talk about Iran's position and our Saudi Arabia position and, and Turkish position. Do you, but do, you think, thing, do you think diplomats do speak candidly with I Saudi think, Arabia? Dare they? I think it depends on the, let's say, political worlds and political orders. They are not alone to, to stand facing the situation. We have to make peace in Syria. This is the main, the most important mm -hmm. thing to do. So, is it possible alone? The coalition on one side or the other, having two coalitions, this is not possible to support. So I believe, hmm. but this is, I'm not in, talking in the name of the government, but I believe that it will be easier if there is a sort of consensus or, uh, let's say, a program of uh, getting rid of ISIS in between the Russian and the American. But I can't see American. you supporting troops on the ground, Western troops on Certainly the ground. Certainly not. This is not necessary, but we are backing the Kurds and we should insist on the help to the Kurdish people. Yesterday or three, three days ago, they, they had a big victory on Sinjar against mm. ISIS. So the ground troops are there. Mm. Let's help them with tanks, with anti-missile, etc. Uh, uh, etc. Et but as this bell tolls for remembrance for those who died, do we not owe it to them that for the first time in modern history we confront the religious forces in the Gulf of Arabia? No. And particularly within Saudi Arabia, I to don't tame so. their forces. We are not confronting the, the religion. We are confronting people. No, but those radicals within the religion. Those radicals are talking in the name. They are saying that they are in the name of religion. They are not at all. Not at all. We have six to seven millions of uh, uh, Muslim people in France. They are French people. Indeed. And they are not backing ISIS. Indeed. Don't, the victory of ISIS should be a civil war in between two groups in France. We don't want that at all. Monsieur Kushner, thank you very much indeed for joining us.